Alright, so hello YouTube, today I've got a new video, and in this video I thought why not an NBA 2K16 My Team design my own arena. I did make a video on how you guys can actually do this, because it's not like you can just go straight in and do it, you have to actually do steps before. So I'll link that video in the description below, and yeah, so I'm just going to go and do this live, see how it goes. So we go straight into it, arena type. There is one with 21,000, so this is the one that I want to go as. I won't make the arena names. I don't think you guys really have to see that. And let's check out the court floor. So this is all the stuff that you can do. So, ooh, I don't know. What, there's only a few options, so... That one's actually pretty nice, but I think that one might be a little bit distracting. So I'm just going to go uh, standard, and I kind of like that one. Just the light. I don't like the very light, but I... I like the light. So at outside perimeter, nah. We need to kind of keep it as normal as possible. And I think just the very dark there looks pretty cool. So inside perimeter, hmm. Nah, I'll, apron, what's that? I don't even know what the apron is. Oh, that's like the outside part, all right. Well, I'm thinking of making that maybe a white. No, nah, that, that would just be some cut. Yeah, a black looks cool, I reckon. I reckon a black would be really... Actually, there's a... Yeah, all right, there's one of these, so... A color wheel. I'll go a dark... We'll go maybe that. I don't know. That was just a random color. No, nah, we'll just keep... So, the circle outside the key. So, you can change this to, like, anything, pretty much. So, we'll go... And then the next, that, that just looks so weird if I do that. We go a full circle, outside key, um, maybe the red too. And inside key, no, no, no. It's a little bit glitched up. I reckon the black and red. Black and red is what this is going to look like. All right, so it, it looks a little bit weird, but I reckon the black and red looks really cool. Like, I really do like that black and red, so... Jumbotron. Oh, this is this thing. That's actually so cool that they let you do this. So, um, I really, oh, that, that big one. What, what was that one? Was that actually, wait, all right, we're going to go that one. Just, we need the biggest one, the most expensive one. And what's this graphics package? Oh, I see. Well, I think we might go that one. Just get the logo around everywhere. Scorchers table, geez, they give you a lot of, like, customization. This is really cool. This is a good step for 2K, because, like, the customization of your players sometimes, I don't really like it too much sometimes, but it's looking really good now. And we need to make sure this looks as professional as possible. I think I might go with this one, because it looks uh, black and white. So, I can get my own images. So, as you can see down the bottom there, I can go to www nba2k.com forward slash upload but that website's not up right yet so I wish I could do that but I just can't so I will soon but yeah I just can't so we can pick a new color for the seats too I'm, I'm gonna make them red yeah that, that looks quite nice so red there the baskets oh this is this is so cool what even is the difference I, I'm I'm just trying to... Oh, it's the back of it. All right, I say. I didn't even... I was looking at the ring. Yeah, we need we need the cameras because, you know, the cameras are always on us. Should I go black or red? Definitely red. It already knew which one I want, wanted. So I don't actually have my headphones on right now. So I'm not going to put all of these in, but that's just the quick little introduction to creating your own court so uh it is pretty cool that you can do this i really do like it so this is my end finish of the court right here and this was just really quick it took me what four minutes so it's actually a lot easier than i thought it would be i thought it would be a lot more difficult than it is but now that i can do this i'm just gonna put logos on it and everything put my own logo when they allow that website to come up and it will be really cool so then i just go save changes and exit and now I go into manage team, franchise, go arena, and then go this one. And now I've got my stadium there. So yeah, thanks guys. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more of these videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.